Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Terry and I just got back from St. Louis from the Botanical Garden from their orchid show and uh, it was a beautiful day out here in the greenhouse as I checked on things and noticed that I had a few uh, sibling and great gum well I call them all siblings but uh, due to their similarities uh, which is part of the reason for this video is to show the subtle differences in the flowers of uh, some of the angraecum species and a hybrid that I happen to have at the moment in, in, in uh, bloom. Well, uh, some going out of bloom, but uh, you can still see the overall form of the flower. What we are looking at right now is a species. This is um, angraecum viburnum, otherwise known as superbum. Um, you can see the uh, green petals, white lip, little green shading on the inside of the, of the uh, lip, which is fairly typical of all of the angraecum family, er, angraecoid family, actually, to, to uh, you know, pretty much a degree, all of them have some variation of a star shape. These happen to be... Uh, Recepine, I believe that's what it is called, but it's upside down, whereas the the lip is on top and the petals are upside down. Well, these are sideways, probably because they're going out. But also, it does have that long spur in the back. Well, um, yeah, this is long, as opposed to another species that I have up here, which is not in flower, but you can kind of see this long spur, which is definitely longer than that spur. But still, same uh, pure, heavy, white, uh, thick substance, uh, white, star-shaped flower. Um, the lip is more in a heart shape. Well, that this is still in a heart shape. And actually, this one, which is a cross um, of both of these two species, which is, well, it's not a, a direct cross, but this has both of those species in it. This is Angraecum alabaster, which is Beichi times uh, Eburnum. And so you can see the similarities in the flowers. Um, Beichi is actually a cross between Sesquidale and Eburnum. So it's a cross between Eburnum and Sesquidale. Uh, so you can see that the, the, the influence of the Beichi, not the Beichi, yeah, well, well, yeah, the Beichi, but also the Aburnum as far as the spur uh, not being quite as long as what it would be if it were on a Suspisquidale. And it still retains that uh, upside down. Um, also, another thing that is uh, coveted of Eburnum is the number of flowers along the spike, whereas Sesquidale generally mm, will have uh, maybe three to, um, to the most to a spike, but very large flowers, whereas these are more small. All of them are very fragrant at night. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show off uh, the subtle differences in the flowers because I think uh, as an angricoid freak, uh, you know, often I hear criticism that, uh, you know, they're all the same, uh, they're boring, uh, but I think the subtle differences in them make them still very desirable. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say today and um, hope this was interesting and Happy growing!